This morning what we're going to do is replace the uh, compressor in this train unit. What he's doing right now, he's actually taking all the screws out of the top of the condenser and he is going to unhook the wiring coming from the condenser motor. We're taking the top off this condensing unit now to expose the compressor that we're going to replace. And here is the train climate tough compressor that we're going to uh, take out. Now what we're going to do is grab these pipe wrenches because these things have rotor locks on the condenser compressor and now Art's going to go ahead and start taking those apart. Hold on a second. Sorry, okay. you're probably going to have to get inside there and do it. You got to like hit it. Okay, what he's going to do, he's going to actually bump it very slowly. You got to make sure you do not twist the rotor locks. This is a new one, so it should not be that hard. Okay, now he's done it. So now he's going to see if he can move those by hand and take those loose, which he's doing. Changing out the uh, train compressor is actually the easiest compressor on the market to replace. I love replacing train compressors. You have a socket wrench? Yeah. An extension? Yep. I got to invest in one of those. I'm pretty sure it's a 916. We have to loosen the bolts on the bottom of the uh, pan that actually holds the compressor. It has four 1916 bolts in it. Zach has a uh, an extension, a 12 inch extension. Actually, excuse me, it's about 18 extensions. It comes above the compressor to expedite the uh, process of replacing this compressor. These compressors have a 10 year labor warranty, a 10 year parts warranty with this particular unit. Another thing I like about the compressor has the uh, cap, the compressor cap that you actually can. Um, pull off. You don't have to take the wiring off the terminals. It's just a plug. Trying to put a light on that over there. I want to show them the plug. Well, got me a flashlight. Pick That's up the plug if you can. Yeah, see the plug? Yeah, so you just pull it. It's just like a uh, range plug if you want to call it that. You just pull it loose from the uh, compressor. Simple. Uh, train makes it as simple as you can. After we get the compressor out, it's very important to remember that you got to take the rubber feet off of the uh, compressor. And those are what we call isolation pads, really. But they do not come with the new compressor, so he's taking those out. Now we're going to go down to train parts and pick up the uh, new compressor, and then we'll get with part two on installing the new compressor. We got the new compressor here now. We're going to put the rubber grommets back underneath the compressor, which are the isolator pads. Art is in the uh, unit. He's picking up and handing the compressor to him. These things are very heavy, by the way, so you got to be careful not hurt your back with this. What he's doing now, he's just lining up the feet. Once he gets everything lined up, 
the uh, the uh, suction and the liquid line adapter should match right up. Okay, so he's going to move it over and set the feet correctly. Okay, uh, Art's going to pull the rubber grommets out of the end of the compressor now. They got to be sealed from the factory, of course, and no dirt and debris. You heard that little bit of nitrogen? Pshht. That means the compressor is under uh, nitrogen and it's intact. You'll have that same thing on the coils, the condenser coils, and you got to replace parts. Be careful that the grommet doesn't fall out. Now what he's going to do, he's going to hand tighten. He's going to line up everything very slowly and he's going to hand tighten the rotor lock by hand as much as possible. Changing out these train compressors, like I said earlier, is very, very easy. Doesn't really get no easier than this. No torches involved, soldering, it's not back breaking grueling work. That's one thing I love about the train compressors. Now he's going to take his pipe wrench and he's going to put it on there. He's going to snug it and then once he gets it snug, he's going to turn about a quarter of a turn. Okay. Okay, it's good. Perfect. Now he just actually just put the um, rotor locks on the compressor and he should be in, in good shape here. Now he's going to put the uh, bolts in the bottom of the compressor. And everything's self-threaded, so all he's going to do is kind of get it started by hand. He's going to put all four of them in, get them started by hand, then he's just going to go around and tighten them up. Art's putting the last bolt in. Then he'll just go around and snug everything. You don't want to over tighten these bolts. It'll, it'll strip them out. You just want to snug everything. Alright. Let's see how he did that. He just stopped. He could have torqued it out and stripped it out. But that's not what you want. You want to snug only. That's all you want to do. All right, gentlemen. That is the that is now a completed compressor replacement by train. Now, when he gets out of the unit, all he's going to do is just put the top back on, put all the wiring in, and we're set. He's going to just plug in that cap, the electrical cap, 
that we had unplugged lately and just plugs right in. See how easy that is? Done. Bam. The wiring is completed. I just want to talk about the tools that you need in order to change out a compressor by train. And really it's as simple as this. Crescent wrench, a pair of side cutters, and an extension, and possibly a small pipe wrench. That's all you need to change out the compressor. Easy. Okay, go ahead. I'm gonna. I gotta hurry up and go. All right. I'm gonna just talk. He's now setting the top on the condenser unit. lining everything up. Just got to take your time sometimes to get this all lined up. Now we got the top on the uh, condenser, so we're just going to just screw everything in. He's going to wire it up. And folks, that is a complete compressor replacement for train. Now we're just going to go install it in the customer's home. If you have any questions, any concerns about compressors, train products, XL20i products, XL16i, TTB products, just call it Jones Air Conditioning and Electric. At 239-596-5855. It's hard to stop a train.